Hello guys, today I want to tell you how to customize the error pages from Laravel. So probably the most typical one, you can see if you edit something that doesn't exist, you will see 404 not found, or if you enter some URL that is not found, also 404 not found. How to customize this text, for example, how to translate it in your language, or how to customize the whole page. Let's take a look at that in this video. So first, where can you find that blade? It's not public, it's in Laravel core. So while browsing through Laravel core, you can find vendor Laravel framework and long path views 404 blade. And this is how it looks. It extends the layout of errors minimal, which is this in the same folder. And all it is is minimal page with two parameters, yield code and yield message. But you cannot customize that in here because it's in vendor folder. So there are two things you can do. First, if you want to just translate that message, as you can see, it's using to underscore function, which is used for translations. So let's try to do that. In the folder resource lang, let's create a file, new file, for example, de.json for German. And in that JSON, all we need to do is return the JSON with the key would be not found. And the value would be German for not found, which is from what I remember, nicht gefunden from my high school German knowledge or something like that. And we don't need the comma here and we save. Now in our config app, let's change the language to German. So here locale EN, let's change that to DE and let's refresh the page. As you can see, we have nicht gefunden. So this is how you can customize the translated part of any page in the vendor. So 404 is just one of the pages there are other pages, each page for different error code. So 403 is forbidden. For example, 500 is server error. So you can translate that easily with translations. But what if you want to customize it totally? In the official Laravel documentation, in error section, there's a section custom error pages, which lists this command. So vendor publish Laravel errors. Let's run that, paste here and what it would do, publish the views to resources views errors. And now we can navigate to our resources views and we see the folder errors with all of those blades. So you can, for example, customize 404 with whatever not found. Let's try it out, refresh the error page and we have whatever not found. So now it is public and you can do whatever with blade file or with minimal blade, for example, add code here and refresh the page, then it will have code as a text, or you can change the full layout to whatever you want. Or you can change that from minimal layout. Let's try it out how it would look to layout blade and let's refresh whatever not found. So it's a different layout. Out of curiosity, what is illustrated layout? Illustrated layout, haven't tried it myself, refresh. Oh, and it's one of those error pages, which was in Laravel 6, from what I remember, or 5.8. So you can use that one. So there are three layouts for error pages, which can be public, which you can use or change it completely. If you want more quick tips like this one, I suggest you follow me on Twitter, where I share quite a lot of Laravel tips and retweet other users where I find something interesting. So join more than 8,000 of my followers on Twitter. So see you on Twitter or in other videos.